Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how your car can discover different surfaces and can activate some particular effects depending on the surface. So let's go. So first of all we need to set up some physical materials. For this we go right click, physics, physical material and select it. The first one will be street. We can copy and paste this and call this sand. Then we go to the project settings and we go down to physics. And down here we have the physical surface. And we can change this whatever you want. So let's create a street and a sand one. We can close this. Now we open up our street first. We can select the physical properties and the surface type to of course street. And we do the same thing for the sand, like that. Great. So of course now we have to set the material here. So in this case it's the landscape material. So we have to go to the landscape, go to the paint here. So we can see our materials that we painted on the map. So let's go to these layers here, open up our layers. And here you can see you can set up some physical material. So for this I will select the sand material that we created. We do this as well for layer 2 because it's already sent as well like this. And in the case of the map here you can see the street is different. The street is a spline. So when you select this so we go to the details, as you can see it's a mesh. So we open up the mesh as well. And we have this road part here and we can set up some physical material as well. So we go down here, we have the simple collision physical material and for this we select our street one. Like this. Save this. Great. We can close the landscape editor now and go to our Firebird. So our basic car, whatever you have, go to your car here and we need to set up some particular effects. For this I have some examples here, link is in the description, that's a free content pack from the Unreal Engine itself. So you can see the dirt effect, so when you move it around it leaves a cool looking effect. So we will select this one, go to our car, add component and add this particular system dirt wheel kick up. And then we just of course have to place this back to the wheel here. Of course we have to rotate it like that. Great. Of course we can copy and paste this to the side here. Do the same thing in the front. So we will move it in the front here. So copy and paste this as well for the last wheel. So we now we have set this up for all wheels. We go to the details. We have this auto activate and uncheck this. Compile and save this and now we go to the event graph and we need a tick event. Then we take out our mesh here, get the world location. From here we say line trace by channel. Move this up here. The return value is the start and then we go vector minus vector like that. This is the end and the z is 150. Great. From here we go from the out hit and say get surface type. We say switch on e 
physical surface. And now you can see he already give us the default, the street and the sand that we created. Then we take out our vehicle movement here, say get forward speed to check if the car is moving forward. Of course, we go from here and say float is bigger than another float. Put this to 100. We need a branch here for the sand in this case. I don't have anything for the street, so you can set it up as well if you want. We take out all the particle effects here like this. Go from the first one and say set active. Connect the street with the active. And this we can leave the faults. You can connect the other particle effects as well. Copy and paste this down here. The true case goes down here. The false case goes up here. And this is of course true. And then we have to connect the particular effects as well down here and connect the condition here. So that means it checks the physical surface. If it's the street, it deactivates the particular effect. Then it checks if it's the sand, it checks is the car moving. If it's true, he activate the particular effect. If not, he deactivate the particular effect. So let's see if this works. So we hit play. So no particle effect is present. We drive on the sand here. The particle effect is activated. When we stop, the particle effect stops as well. And when we start driving again, there it is again. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.